Good morning folks, how are you this morning? Ron Bishop here from Timaru, New Zealand again. How'd you sleep? Sleep well last night? I slept like a log. Gee, I went out, out like a log. Um, <laughs> I had a couple of tremadols though, and uh, I had my mad pill. I got a mad pill, you see, for my bipolar disorder, and I had that, and, and a couple of tremadols. And, and slept like a log. Woke up this morning absolutely fantastic. No itch. Nothing. I've been just been for an hour's walk. Yep, and I'm I'm healed. I believe I'm healed. But I'm not happy with that oncologist of mine, that that Dean Harris. By jeez, I'm not happy with him. Listen, I've written a letter. I've written a letter to um, Dr. Gary Cooper, or Mr. Gary Cooper. Sorry, uh, he's a surgeon. He operated on me uh, before, and so I've, he got a letter, a copy of this letter. Uh, telling uh, telling them that I would had six to eight weeks to live. Just a minute, I'll get the letter and read it out to you. Here's the letter he wrote. Uh, I've got it in my medical file here, special medical file I've got on myself. And this is what it says. I'll just read the, 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 the last part. Ron remains very confident that he can manage his cancer with visualisation as he did his with his prostate cancer. And he would like copies of his CT images showing a normal area of the ab abdomen and his current scan so he can visualise the mass resolving and returning to normal. I explained to Ron that I think the bilirary, bilirary obstruction could progress in the coming weeks. In this situation, people become very drowsy, somewhat confused, when the liver is completely blocked, life expectancy is measured in a small number of weeks, possibly as little as two to six weeks. Ron differed from this opinion, but appreciated my view. He remains very confident in his ability to manage his condition. At present, he has declined intervention or attempts to stent his liver. I discussed with him that I'll, I'll liaise with the Timaru surgeon Gary Cooper and the radiation team, radiology team in Christchurch. We may be able to arrange drainage without the need for an external drain. We'll attempt to arrange, arrange this and discuss with Ron and see if he's willing to proceed. If not, we need to ensure adequate palliative care should be care support as his life expectancy will be measured in a small number of weeks. What do you think of that? When I received a copy of that letter, it, which was addressed to Mr. Gary Cooper, my surgeon, um, I wrote him a letter. This is how I reacted. I, I wrote him a letter. Dear Gary, finding a cure for cancer, I refer you to the letter you received from Dr. Dean Harris, a Christchurch oncologist, oncologist, informing you that if I do not have further surgery under his care, then I could die within the next two to eight weeks. I'm treating this threatening letter from Dr. Harris as blackmail, and because of this, I do not wish to remain under his care. During my battle with cancer, I have followed the advice of the medical profession and will continue to do so, but I refuse to listen to any medical advice from a doctor with a negative attitude who chooses to predict the time of my death. Could I please make an appointment to see you again to discuss how together as a team we can find a cure for all types of cancer for the benefit of all mankind. There you are. Well, as you can see by that response, I'm not taking this lying down. You see, this is not about me anymore. Just me. It's about curing cancer. I'm only interested in curing cancer. I'm not interested in treatment. I've had two major operations treating it, right? And I, I, I've gone along with those. I've actually had, I've had radiation. I've had three. Well, I've actually had three, if I include the prostate cancer. I cured the prostate cancer. But I'm not having any more. I've said enough is enough. I don't want them going into my body anymore and cutting stuff out. I'm going to heal this my way. And my way is very simple. It's positive thinking, a belief in God, affirmations, visualizations, and, and, and the right diet. I'm eating raw fruit, raw fruit and veggies. 
I, 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 I fasted for a day yesterday, didn't have anything to eat, and this week I'm, I'm flat out eating as much fruit and veggies as I can, all right? And I feel great. I woke up this morning, feel absolutely fantastic. And here is a man telling me I'm going to die in two weeks. Not on. God is not on. If, if they go around telling the patients that, they shouldn't be in the industry, I think. I'm pretty crabby. But anyway, I'll, they'll, they'll work it out. He, I've sent him a copy of the letter and everything. I've sent it to, um, who have I sent it to? A copy to Dr. Grant Shrimpton. He's my GP. Dr. Gavin Wilton is treating me for uh, prostate cancer and a copy to Dean Harris. He's the guy that said I'm going to die in two weeks' time. <laughs> okay? Right, I'll see you tomorrow. Keep, keep tuned in. I'll have something more cheerful to talk about tomorrow. But never mind, I've got to get out of the rubbish. See you later. Bye-bye.